In this video, I'll show you how to create a hundred business emails and use it with Gmail and Outlook. This is John from Pro Digital Hub. Let's start with the first step which choosing our free domain name. So what you need to do here is to go to domains44.com or simply click the link in the description. This is free tool provided by us in Pro Digital Hub, which will help you find your perfect domain and use it in your business email. Let's assume that your company name is Trade Gurus. So let me write here Trade Gurus and hit search. You'll notice that TradeGurus.com is unavailable, which means that someone is using this domain name. Also TradeGurus.net is unavailable, but you still can get other domain extensions. For example, we have here TradeGurus.io, .me, or .org, in addition to many more. So if you're happy with these domain extensions, you can choose one and proceed to the next step. However, many people prefer having a domain name that ends with .com being the most popular. Let me show you a workaround to find a .com domain related to your business name. You can for example add here the word online at the end of your business name and hit search. You'll see that tradegurusonline.com is available. Also for example you can add hyphen after trade. And trade-gurus.com is available as well. So in nutshell, this is totally up to you. You can play with the domain name to find your perfect.com domain. However, you can always use other domain extensions to get a domain with your exact business name. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to continue with trade-gurus.com. Now, let's move to the next step. Just simply click here on Get Hosting. And we will be directed to Hostinger, the number one hosting company in the world. But why we need hosting in the first place? Hosting is simply where your emails live. It's a giant servers that work 24-7 and ensure the speed and the security of your data and without it you can't create business emails. There are many hosting companies around the world, but we're gonna select the best, which is Hostinger. If we go to Google Trends, we will find that the demand on Hostinger exceeds all other hosting platforms combined, and this is for a reason. Because Hostinger adopts the latest technology in hosting industry, and it offers extremely low prices allowing you to create 100 emails and get free domains. And on top of this, the team here at ProDigital Hub got you an additional discount with a coupon code, which we gonna use in a minute. So the first thing is to click here on claim, deal. You'll find here that Hostinger has three plans, but we really don't need an advanced plan to host our business emails. We can go with the first plan, which is the premium plan. And with this plan, as you see here, you get 100 email accounts and free domain, and you have a storage of 100 gigabytes, which is more than enough. So we gonna continue with premium plan. Click here on choose plan. And now we're gonna decide on the period. You can sign up for hosting for 12 months, 24 months, and 48 months. And at 48 months, you'll get two additional months for free and the highest saving. But if you're just starting, you can go for 12 or 24 months. And this one month, just forget it, cause it's very expensive and you don't get free domain with it. So we are looking at this three periods. Here at 48 months, you pay $2.99 per month, which is extremely cheap price for 100 emails and free domain. And once you've selected your hosting duration, click here and enter the coupon code for an exclusive discount. Just type Pro Digital Hub, one word without spaces, and click on Apply. An extra 10% off has been activated. And then click on Continue to proceed. Here you have to enter your email and choose a password, or you can simply sign up through your Google account. So let me insert my email here, and then choose a password and click on register. Insert your name and billing address. And the final step is to insert your payment details. You can pay with credit card, PayPal, Google Pay, and CoinGate, which is Bitcoin. And also other payment methods might be added based on your location. And then click on submit payment. Payment is done successfully, and we are redirecting to the control panel. And here, we have some onboarding questions. Who is this website for? Choose myself or my business and click on next. Here we choose create and then click on next. Here, click on empty website. And here we gonna claim our free domain name, the one we have chosen at the first step. So our domain will be trade-gurus.com. Select the domain from the drop-down list. And then click on next. And these details don't really matter, so click on next step. 
And here we gonna review our contact details cause it's required for domain registration. We have to type our address again. Make sure that your address contains at least one letter and one number. Enter the zip code and click on finish registration. Now Hostinger is registering our domain name. Here click on next. Now it will take some time to assign servers and activate the hosting account. And here we go guys, we are inside Hostinger admin panel and we gonna create all emails using this admin panel. There is one step we have to do before creating our emails. Go to your email, the one you entered while registering at Hostinger. You will find an email from Hostinger titled Verify Your Email, click on it, and then click on Verify Email. And then go back to your email and click on Verify Your Contact Info for the domain. Note that this email might take one hour to be received. Click on the link. You successfully verified your contact info. And by this, we are done confirming hosting our account. Now let's move and start creating our business emails. Creating business email with Hostinger is very easy. Just simply click up here on emails. And here, we are gonna choose set up free email service. Click on start free. Choose your domain here and click on confirm. Let's create now our first email ID. So let's assume that our first email will be support at trade-gurus.com. And here, choose a password so you can use it to log in to your email. And then click on create. Click down here on skip. Great job, your first email is created successfully. To manage your emails, click here on email accounts. You can see here that we still have 99 emails to be created. And in order to create new email ID, click up here on create a mailbox. Let's go back and show you how to manage email accounts. Now in order to log into this email, just simply click here on webmail. New window will open. Here is our email, just enter the email password and click on login. And we are now inside webmail. From here, you can send and receive emails. In few minutes, I will show you how to link your email with Outlook and Gmail, but for now I'm gonna show you how to manage your email account using the webmail. So in order to send new email, click here on Compose. Let's send a test email, enter recipient email, and let's call the email subject test. Let's write for example, hi, great job, and then click on send. Let's check my Gmail and see if the email is received. The email is received successfully, we see it here coming from support. I'll reply to it, let me write here thanks, and then click send. Go back to webmail and refresh the page. And you can see that new email is received, which is my reply. This is very easy and straightforward, and you can fully manage your email account from the webmail. Before moving to the next step, let me show you how to change the sender name. Click on settings. And then go to identities right here. Click on the email, and from here we can change the display name, which is the sender name. So let me change it for example, support dash trade gurus. So this is will be your sender name when you send any email. And from here as well, you can add your organization name and your signature. So this is how you manage your email account using the webmail. Now let's move on and go back to hosting your panel. To create another email account, just simply click on the plus button and you can create up to 100 emails. Let's learn now how to link this email account to Outlook. First of all, click on Connect Apps and Devices. And here we have the full details of email server. Let's go ahead and open Outlook. The first thing is to type your email here. My email is support at trade-gurus.com. And then click on Continue. And then click down here on Advanced Setup. And from the list, select IMAP. And the first thing is to insert the email password. And at the incoming IMAP server, go to email server details and copy it from here. And paste it here. And at the port, it's 993 here, it's the same, so keep it as it is. And also keep SSL and TLS as it is. And at STMP configuration, the username is your email ID and STMP password will be your email password. And at SMTP outgoing server, copy it from mail server details and paste it here. And at the port, it's 465, and here is 465 as well, so no changes here. And then click down here on continue. Click on continue again. 
Here it's connecting with email provider. Click on Next. And select here No, we don't want to send optional data to Outlook, then click on Accept. Click on Continue, and then click on Skip. And here we go guys, our email is added successfully to Outlook. You can follow the same steps to add your email to mail mobile apps and other email applications, as long as you have the mail server details. Remember that username is your email and the password will be your email password. Simple and straightforward. Now let me show you how to add this email to your Gmail, so you can control it from your Gmail account. Open Gmail, and then click on this gear icon to open mail settings. And click on see all settings. Then go to accounts and import tab. The first thing we're gonna do is to go down here to send mail as, and click on add another email address. Here we insert the email address, and at the name, they mean by it the sender name, let's write something like, support, dash trade gurus. And then click on next step. And let's now add the SMTP server, go back to mail server settings. Copy it and paste it here. and the username will be our email, and we type here the email password. And at the port, here it's 587, and we need to change it to 465. So select 465 from the drop-down list, and then click on Add Account. The next step is to verify this action, so let's check our email. And you'll find email from Gmail, titled Gmail Confirmation, click on it, and then click on the link, and click on Confirm. So the email is confirmed now with Gmail, and you can start sending emails using TradeGuru's email. The next step is to add the email to inbox, so click here on Add Mail Account. Insert the email address, and then click on Next. And then Next. And the username will be the email, and then enter email password. And at the POP server, go back to Mail Server Settings, and copy incoming server under POP. and paste it here, and the port is 995, so select it from the drop-down list. And make sure to take use a secure connection. And also take leave a copy of the retrieved messages on the server, so you always have copies of your email stored on server, even if it's received on Gmail. And then click on Add Account. And by this, your email is added to Gmail inbox, and in order to send emails from Gmail using your business email, click on Compose and you can choose the sender email from here. This is your Gmail email, and this is your business email. You can select it and start sending emails, as simple as this. And all received emails will be listed here in the inbox. I think by now you've created your amazing business email and link it to Outlook or Gmail, or maybe you just wanna use the webmail. Before wrapping up, let me show you a couple of features you might need in the future. Open email page at Hostinger and click on the dots beside your email account. From here, you can change email password, also you can create something called forwarders. Email forwarding is a feature that allows you to automatically redirect incoming emails from one email address to another. And also, from here you can create an auto-reply as well. Alright, that's gonna do it for business emails. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, please leave us a like and subscribe to the channel for more useful videos. Talk to you soon.